Hey guys, welcome back to the Supplement Review. Now, this week we're looking at a new brand that's moving into the nootropic space. This is Advanced Mind and their nootropic capsules, Infinite Clarity. So what we're gonna do is have a little bit of a look at the formula. I've got a video from Rick Foster to break it down in a little bit more detail, and I'll give you my experience of having used these for about two weeks. But what's in them? For that, we turn to Richard Foster of Strong Sports Nutrition to break down the formula for Infinite Clarity. <laughs> Hi, it's been a while. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Richard Foster from Strong. And Tariq occasionally asked me to look at formulas for him and kind of give an overview of them. We used to break them down, but that ended up being quite long and, and, and boring. Today, Tariq has asked me to have a look at Infinite Clarity. It's a nootropic. And honestly, there are some good ingredient choices here. Every single one of them, apart from Lion's Mane, is underdosed, horrifically. This is a product that I sometimes struggle as to whether I should be really brutal with these. This product fundamentally is ripping off consumers. Consumers are the people that support my brand, support our products, and I don't want to see consumers ripped off. Every single consumer that buys a bad product is a consumer that goes, well, you know what, supplements don't work. And actually supplements can work and they can work really well if they are efficacious and, and well thought out. This is an example of a product that has been made to a price point. So while someone who maybe knows a bit about supplements might look at it and go, oh, well, they're all really good things to have and they are. There isn't anything in this formula that that I wouldn't have in a formula like that apart from L-glutamine, that's retarded. But they are all horribly dosed apart from Lion's Mane. The product won't be effective. The product costs very, very little to make and I can't recommend it in any way, shape or form. Okay, thank you very much, Rich. So I've actually got a couple of thoughts on this as well. One of the doses in here is Bucopa, which is in at 300 milligrams, which does actually seem to be industry standard for a number of other nootropics that I've had a look at. So I think it's fair to say that Lion's Mane is dosed on the lower end of acceptable, but Bucopa is also dosed in line with a number of other products in the industry as well. Now, I actually had a good conversation with the guy behind Advanced Mind. This is his first attempt at a nootropic. He was very interested in our feedback and in Richard's pointers in relation to dosaging and he said that in the next production run that he does they're going to have a look at addressing some of those underdoses so it's really good when you start to see brands that are willing to accept feedback now having spoken to the guys who run the brand i definitely don't think it was his intention to set out and make an underdose product i think it's just very difficult sometimes to get advice in this space and whether you're dealing with sports performance or you're dealing with nutritionists sometimes you can get people telling you different my experience of using this was that it did actually yield a small but noticeable benefit in terms of concentration and in terms of memory. It was something that faded out pretty quickly. And I think when you look at the dosages from this compared to some of my favorite nootropics like Enhance who are in Australia or the guys at Human Performance Solutions without Smart, you can see where this kind of falls down. I think another issue is that because it doesn't have stimulants in it, you don't end up with that kind of pick-me-up that you get from some of the other products like Clean Kill or like Refocus. So Infinite Clarity is £26 normally from the guys at Advanced Mind. You can find it on their website on sale at the moment for £19.99 for 30 servings. Now this video is also going to see the introduction of our nootropics board. So I've put a couple of things that I really like on there already. Um, those are some of the better nootropic products that I've tried. This one, unfortunately, I think would probably rate down here. It'll be interesting to see how the next iteration could fare, and I look forward to seeing some improvements from the brand as well. So, in summary, uh, ingredient choices are good. Dosaging needs to be addressed in the next batch, but I'm looking forward to seeing what this brand can bring in the future. Now, it is right to point out at the end of this video, the brand did contact me. They wanted this product reviewed. I told them they would get an honest review and they were okay with that. I think they've used this as a bit of a sounding board to see what they got back from their formulators. I hope it's been useful. Try not to be overly critical for unnecessary reasons where people are looking to improve. So hopefully this will be another combat fuel, be a big success where we see them making better and better products as we go. So anyway, thank you very much to Advanced Mind for sending this through to me. I'll see you guys in the next video.